Hello, what's going on everybody? My name is Courtney from Courtney the Explorer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to share with you five things to know before going to Korea because I'm going to Korea. For those of you who have no idea, I'm going to Korea in three and a half weeks. I'm moving to Busan, the second largest city in Korea. So yesterday, I actually met with this guy that I went to high school with. He just got back from teaching in Korea and he's going soon for his second year teaching in Korea. So obviously he loved it. And he gave me like so much great information and I feel great about leaving in three and a half weeks now. He shared some negative stuff about the country, he shared some funny stuff, some weird things. So I kind of wanted just to make this video so I can look at this maybe like a couple months after living in Korea and see if these things were actually true or from my perspective. But anyways, I'm gonna share with you five things to know before going to Korea that I heard from a classmate from high school. <laughs> Okay, let's start. So, number one, air quality sucks. He said to always use a mask. It's going to be hard to breathe outside. You need to buy an air purifier for your apartment. So, that's different. Number two, you are always on camera. This was weird to me. I mean, in Chicago, we have street cameras, I guess. You can get so technically, maybe we're on camera on the streets, some of the streets, but not all the streets. But he said, in Korea, you are literally always on camera. There are cameras everywhere. He said that he appreciated it because no one steals. You can leave, he's had friends leave their cell phone on public transportation and it will still be there. Someone will find your phone and give it back to you. That's just the culture. Also, he said he had a friend that left an ATM card on the ATM. It was still there 24 hours after. Like, no one steals your stuff because you're always on camera. Number three, do not fight anyone. I don't, I don't really plan to fight anyone, but I guess pretty much if a Korean person were to punch me in the face and I punch them back in the face and I hurt them a little bit more, I go to jail. So don't fight anyone in Korea. Um, I expect Koreans and the Korean Americans that I've met, they're pretty chill people. So I don't really expect to be punched or be in a violent situation, but that's something good to know. <laughs> Number four, something that actually probably affects me. Do not dress provocative. It's a very conservative culture. This, I guess, is not okay. I read collarbones are not okay and I am not really sure what to wear. I'm curious to actually witness this and see if it's true, but I was told if you wear a dress that is too short, an older Korean woman will come and tug on your dress. That's interesting. <laughs> he did say short shorts were okay, so I don't have to throw away my short shorts, but he warned that you should cover this up and don't wear short dresses, so I'm gonna try. Okay, my last thing to know before going to Korea. This one is wild to me. Coming from Chicago, marijuana is legalized. Medical marijuana has been legalized for a while. We're all pretty chill about marijuana and we see that it has great effects medically and it's chill. <laughs> In Korea, they didn't, they didn't get the memo. I was told that weed is the equivalent to heroin in South Korea and surrounding countries. You could go to jail for multiple, multiple years for having a little bit of marijuana or paying thousands and thousands of dollars worth of fines. I'm obviously going to respect the culture and that aspect in it. And I'm curious to see and to ask around why, why is that such a huge deal? Upon arrival for an English teacher, you have to be drug tested like upon arrival. So don't do drugs if you want to teach in Korea. 
those are my tips like i said i'm going to korea in three and a half weeks so i'm gonna let you know if these things are true or maybe some other things that i wish i knew before going to korea i'm interested just to compare and contrast my perception for my classmates i'm super excited it's so surreal that i'm going to spend the next year of my life in busan south korea and i will make another video describing kind of like my feelings and my thoughts go more into detail about what i'm going through right now if you're going to korea as well let's chit chat <laughs> we could share emotions of how terrified we might be or things we're excited about but Lastly, I would just like to say thank you. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching this video if you made it this far. I love you. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe this video. It helps me. So thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.